Hello and welcome to the Hospital Rooms Digital Art School. You are about to watch a block printing workshop with artist Petra Borner. Don't forget to check out the previous workshops on our channel and you can also like and subscribe below. Enjoy! Hi everyone, um, welcome to today's digital workshop with the hospital rooms. Um, I'm Petra Borner and I'm a Swedish artist, but I'm living and working in London since many years now. In my practice, I use a lot of different media and techniques and I have always been very interested in making art since I was a young child and in making in general, I love the process. Um, but in my heart and in the core of my work is drawing, I think. And with drawing, I feel that I process what's going on and how I feel. And it's um, my way to communicate my feelings. Um, and I think my drawing is sort of a repetition and almost becomes a patination in its expression. So um, today I'm very happy that you're with me today and we're going to do a workshop in block printing to together and we will explore three steps in this workshop. So um, we're going to start with drawing. Drawing on paper um, and I think it's really good if you find something that feels very natural for, for you, something that comes from your mind. But you can also look at something, of course, it's up to you. Um, I will use pencil on paper. Um, so, for today the materials I'm going to use are the simple paper, these are recycled office print paper. I'm going to use pencil. I like B pencils. The bolder, the better. So this is 6B. I'm going to use acrylic paint, print stick, um, rollers. I have a few. You might just have one. Who knows? Um, Water-based block printing ink and a tray. Funky foam sheets. Um, cardboard if you prefer and then a variety of different color papers um, recycled papers with marks on already um, things like that so have I forgotten anything maybe some tissue if you make a mess that would be good <laughs> that can happen um, okay so we're going to get started I'm gonna sit down for this. So first of all, we're going to get started with our drawings. And I think it's good just for exploring the technique. It might be good to, um, glasses on. It might be good to start um, small because then we don't waste so much paper. We don't waste so much equipment, um, but that's again up to you. I tend to draw natural references um, and explore a relationship to the natural world. So I'm going to draw um, a face, I think. And I, my lines usually become quite bold. Um, I think in this process it's quite helpful because then it's defined um, and it might be easier for us to then apply into our foam. So. The more lines you do, the more lines we will then transfer onto the foam paper. So 
it's up to you how sort of intricate or simple you want it to become. It's always good, I think, to maybe make a few drawings and then you select the one that you like. So I'm going to just do one more. Okay, so I'm going to have a look through. Um, I did some before as well, so it's just cheating. Um, which one shall I pick? Um, could be something. Maybe. Maybe this one could be quite fun. Or this one. I'm going to go with that one. Okay, so then put this away and I'll take a piece of funky foam sheets um, for this one and I place my drawing upside down and you either you press or you use like a, the pen or a tool or something like just the back of the pen to transfer your lines to the back of it. So there it is. Vada! And then, ooh! <laughs> so then you have a mirror image. With pressure, you score your lines into the funky foam and of course you don't have to follow your own rules completely but you can use it as a guide. So you see, if you have a lot of lines, it will take you sort of more effort or more energy to get them all to fit. So it depends what you want to do and how hard you press, the deeper the groove and then the sort of whiter the mark on the page or the space. Um, yeah, anyway, I will show you. So there we go. That's your grooves. Now we're going to put that to the side. And we're going to create a background to go with it. And what you want to think is that it will be the mirror image of that. So you could choose, um, let's say, a color paper or a white paper. Yeah. And then think, what I like to think about is where the placement of the eye is and try to sort of spare out um, color around that, so say, in this case, um, I'm going to use these colors. You can do this away from your artwork if you are more if you don't want to get the paint and um, the print stick onto it of course it's probably more clever <laughs> so I'm going to use this I like to, to use recycled paper I will save scraps of envelopes and things like that um, 
to have a range of colors in my palette. So this is sort of more about getting blocks of color onto the page. Um, I'm going to improvise with some paint instead. Now we're ready at the very exciting step of rolling out our block print. I'm going to use black because I like how it covers the background. And so what I do is make a line. Like that. And with your roller, what you want to do is to try to get it evenly. I forgot on this one. Um, is I put tape. I forgot to put my handles. That's what the tape is for. I just put a handle in the corner because it helps with holding the print in place like that okay so when that's done I'll place it on here and starts to roll but I get my sweater out of the way um, so I'm gonna try to apply it evenly What I'd like to do now is to choose my background and I think I'm gonna, ooh, I might use, well, I'm gonna use the one and see if it works. Okay, again, if you want to make multiples, see, you see where the eye is? I'm gonna try to place that in the empty space and just position it down carefully. Then I'm going to use a clean roller. Uh, this is the reveal. <laughs> and we have a sort of, yeah, quite a nice print. Like that. And well, I had a little bit of ink in the line, so that happened, but I think it looks quite nice. Okay, so we can put that to the side. And um, so this is the result. Oh, hang on. And I think it's quite nice. I hope you like it. So this is the Digital Art School Workshop uh, with me, Petra Borner, and the Hospital Rooms. Have a great day.